Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I don't want you to ignore these early signs of tapeworms in your body. So tapeworms can grow up to six meters in length, so 20 to 50 feet long, and they can live in you for 25 years or more, and you don't necessarily know that they're there. So what's sort of interesting and cool, if you can say that, about tapeworms, or not so much, so I hope you're not squeamish, so what's interesting about the tapeworm is that it has something that is very much like a suction cup on its head and this is what can attach to the intestinal walls. Each tapeworm can have 3,000 different segments and each segment can lay thousands of eggs. Now the reason the tapeworm is called the tapeworm is that it looks like a piece of tape and you can see in the picture that it is quite thin in those tails as you would call it in the tapeworm. Now don't worry, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get rid of these if you do have them. And knowing that you're not necessarily symptomatic if you do have tapeworms, but often people will experience some weight loss, but this isn't always necessarily the case. Now, some of the clinical signs of having tapeworms could be that you are low in energy and your B12 status may be low, and this can be because the tapeworms are actually robbing you of your vitamin B12. So that's something definitely to look further into if you have a chronically low B12 level. Now I promised I would share some tips on how to get rid of these. You know that I have other videos here on YouTube on how to deal with parasites and candida and their eggs. So dealing with intestinal parasites and worms is something that is good for your overall health, not only uh, if you do have them and then they've been diagnosed, but also of course as a preventative as well. So one of the best tips is to use some herbal medicines that have been proven to help with eradicating these intestinal worms and the tapeworms. So one of my favorites is oregano, and this is very powerful against killing off some of those intestinal worms. I love black walnut as well, as well as cloves. So cloves are fantastic because they will also help to kill the eggs of the parasites, which is really important throughout their life cycle of the worms to make sure that you're targeting them at different times. So there are some great herbal preparations available with a combination of some of these herbs so definitely check the links below to help to steer you in the right direction for more information about that now making sure that we have a healthy microbiome so you don't want to set up you know the environment for these negative organisms to be living in you and and to be replicating so that's all about your turf and your terrain and your microbiome so having a healthy microbiome is very important probiotics are very important for for this aspect, so eating whole foods, fermented foods, things like sauerkraut, kombucha are great for ensuring that you have those healthy microorganisms. Eating food that grows locally to you and in season can be very helpful for your microbiome as well. And eating non-GMO foods that of course have, if they're organic and have not been sprayed, of course with something like glyphosate, I have a whole show on glyphosate, so you can check that out and why you know it really does matter what you are ingesting and putting into your body Another culprit for allowing these intestinal parasites and, and tapeworms to propagate and to live and that you can't get rid of them is sugar. So you definitely, if you do have a sugar addiction, you know, you want to definitely do your best to stay away from refined sugars and all of those sweets and treats that you may love, but you may be addicted to and you don't know why. So check out my show on sugar addiction to help you in that department. So today I talked all about tapeworms and some of the early signs of tapeworms that you should not ignore. So if you do have questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please do put them in the comment section below and be sure to share this video. I hope that you've learned something new and please give me a thumbs up because I truly appreciate all your great feedback. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe. Also turn on your post notifications by clicking that bell so you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching.